Well, hello there, brothers and sisters of the Briar. I've been out of town for the past few days, and when I came in, I had a number of packages, uh, most of them from eBay, things that I've ordered uh, before heading out of town, and then a, a box that uh, I had actually ordered a couple of weeks ago, um, which it came in in time, but I just wasn't around. Uh, from smokingpipes.com as well as a package from Steve Fallon Pipe Stud. Well, I also have another package from our friend in Spokane, Washington. And maybe I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, Spokane, Spokane. I don't know. I'm from the South, so uh, sometimes we butcher names. But uh, from Nick. And so this will actually be my first uh, package to open uh, before the community. And uh, I thought I would change venue. Uh, I'm wearing my fishing cap because, or skipper's cap, because I'm at my fishing cabin uh, in the U.S. And so you can see a little different change of venue here uh, rather than being in my car. Oftentimes I'm in my car because where I'm at right now, I'm pretty much off the grid. No, uh, uh, no internet connection here. Uh, well, let's get to opening the package here. Good knife. Let's see what we got. He taped it really good. Oh, wow. Wow, a whole never tried this before. So W. O. Larson. There we go. Wow. I've seen this at my tobacconist shop and not sure what this says. But uh maybe it says smoking is good for you. Uh right there. So wow, nice little package. So and on the back of it, it shows what your lungs will look like if you smoke cigarettes. And that's why you don't smoke cigarettes. That's why you need to smoke a pipe. So you don't pull it down into your lungs. Let's see what else we have here. Uh, this is a plug of rope, rum, soap, tobacco. Which, uh, from what I understand, the miners used to take this, or the sailors, and they would chew it uh, when they weren't allowed to smoke. And then when the smoking lamp was lit, they would uh, just mash it up. Or uh, normally, I've had rope before, not one that looked quite like this, but I would cut it uh, with my cigar cutter into coins and then kind of uh, kind of roll them out or mash them out. That is great. Oh, wow, my goodness, my goodness. A whole bunch of cigars. That's great. So, for that occasional time when you pull out a cigar, well, this is a real mixture, too. Let's see the different ones there, rather than me reading them all out. Thank you very much. That is, <laughs> wow, that is a, quite a collection cigars there and let's see what we have here yuletide i've never tried yuletide either yuletide blend let's see the leaf there let's see what this smells like never tried yuletide before well, it's pretty nice pretty nice smell and pretty moist so that's great wow let's see Keeps coming. There we go, Cornell and Dill. Let's see this one. Oh, it'll focus. There we go. Wow, that's really neat. Looking forward to trying these. I, everything is something new to me. And here's a little note, Professor Jeremiah. Thank you so much for the box you sent me. Hope this Yabo makes you. Want to keep making videos. Glad you finally made them. Keep up with the good work, Nick. Well, thank you very much, Nick. I really appreciate it. That was a, uh, that was a real treat uh, 
so it is my first package and uh, just a very uh, it, it's a real nice gift uh, I really am looking forward to, to getting into to some of these uh, tobaccos and trying a few cigars I have a friend that's a real uh, well he had been a real heavy duty cigar smoker uh, until I got him his first pipe and now I'm, I'm afraid I'm kind of winning him off of uh, the uh, cigars because I think his wife likes uh, the pipe smoke better but uh, definitely the next time he's done at the uh, river house here then I'll have to break them out and we'll enjoy some cigars together uh, I guess uh, if you're kind of wondering what I was smoking this is a, a Joby pipe kind of see real nice it's been a great pipe I've only had it a few months but uh, it's been a nice smoke and uh, I'm actually smoking some Frogmorton cellar in it right now for which I will say Frogmorton cellar is definitely uh, this is definitely in my top three uh, which I know I always hear uh, everybody commenting on Frogmorton cellar and talking about how great it is and how much they uh, they really like it now one thing I guess I'll show you here uh, that I do with some of my tobacco tins. So I've got these little uh, water pillows, uh, which I got from my tobacconist. Uh, you can see like they have little holes uh, in them. And you can even take them out. Because uh, I met a guy the other day, he didn't realize you could reuse them or rehydrate them. But this is all it is. And it really keeps the tobacco very fresh. Uh, here in the States, it's not that big of a deal. But, but in Nigeria... Uh, where we're at it gets uh, just so dry there and uh, if you've ever wondered what to do with the staves uh, I've been putting the staves in certain tobaccos that I wanted to have that little kick that little flavor uh, to be similar to, to Frog Morton and uh, one of them which I even mentioned smoking this the other day is Irish coffee and I've put the staves down in my uh, jar which I keep the Irish coffee in and it's definitely picked up the flavor um, almost making my own Frog Morton cellar, I guess, but uh, not quite, but a little close to it. Uh, so anyway, that's what I'm smoking today. Well, thank you, Nick. I, I'm really, I may have to set this pipe aside and try some of the Yule Tide. I've never, I've never tried that before. Uh, so I've, I've kind of wondered before what it tasted like, just never uh, broke down to to buy it. So thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Well, uh, YouTube, I hope that I can uh, keep some more videos coming. I know a few of you were wanting to hear some stories uh, from Africa, and I'll uh, try to throw some of those in soon. Uh, I've lived a number of places, uh, but Africa has been the longest. And you might see over my shoulder, if you've been wondering, in this uh, little box here, uh, that's uh, my shrunken head. Not my head, but a shrunken head, uh, which I have here. So it's, uh, it's kind of neat. It's uh, in my little mini museum. I hear in my house in the States. So, uh, it's kind of one of those things. I have so many trinkets uh, from all around the world, uh, different places I've traveled, but maybe I can show you some of those in time. Well, thanks again, Nick. Uh, thank you, YouTube, uh, especially for your comments and for your subscriptions. And hopefully I can keep some videos coming. And uh, definitely uh, am, I'm looking forward to getting back uh, to my mission station so I can take you on a tour there and just show you some of the animals and different things going on uh, in Nigeria. Anyway, thank you very much.